right, now pay attention. Tonight we are going to play a little game. Pontoons? <laughs> no, not a card game, Max. Yeah, I know a good game. Postman's knockers. <laughs> No, we're not playing those sort of games either, Giovanni. No, this is a verbal exercise. They help you to improve your English and test your imagination. Blimey, Ranjit is not having a chance. <laughs> what we're going to do is to try to tell a continuing story. That is to say, we could, for example, start with, once upon a time, there was a man called Arthur, and he was a bus driver. And then the next person would add something more about Arthur and the things he did, and so on. You'll soon pick it up once we get started. We'll start with you, Juan. I don't know this man, Arthur. <laughs> Arthur is fictitious. <laughs> but you say he's a bus driver. It's make believe I made him up. Ah, imaginario. Yeah. I want you to make up a story using your imagination. I understand. Uh, once upon a time, there was a man called Nickel Ass. <laughs> it's not quite right. No. no. Once upon a time, there was a woman called Nickel Ass. Mm. <laughs> it's pronounced Nicholas. It's all right. Once upon a time, there was a man called Nicholas. <laughs> he was a postman. Postman. No, no, no. Posterman. One, a man who delivers letters is called a postman. A man who stick poster, posterman. <laughs> ha! Bill Sticker. No, no, his name, Nicola. Right. Hi, it's your turn, Ingrid. Tell us more about this uh, Nicholas who is sticking up. Posters. <laughs> One man hears up his ladder when he sees a widow. What is a widow doing up his ladder? <laughs> widow is in the opposite house. There are four widows, two upstairs widows, one downstairs widow, and a French widow. You mean windows? Oh, sorry. The man is house robbing. Good, good, good. Right, your turn, Zoltan. Please? Yes. Continue the story. Bochana. We are making up a story. Understand story? Story? Yeah. Uh, I know very good story. About Aladdin and his wonderful limp. <laughs> <laughs> this is another story about Nicholas. Ah, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Pardon? Santa Nicholas comes every year. Ah, uh -huh, yes. This is another Nicholas, not Saint Nicholas, and he is on a ladder. Ladder, yes. Yes, when he sees through a window a burglar, a robber. Now, use your imagination and tell us about what happens next. He sends for ambulance. <laughs> Why would he send for an ambulance? He falls off ladder. <laughs> Good imagination, no? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Right, uh, let's see what you can do with the story, Anna. The burglar hears the ambulance but thinks it is a police. So he climbs back out of the window, up the fire escape, onto the roofs. Oh, very good. Max, carry on. There is no way out. He can't go up. He can't go down. Now, the only way he can go is across. It's a big across. So he gets ready. He runs, he jumps, and he misses. <laughs> that was going to be a very short story. Ah, oh, no, now it's my turn. He does not kill himself because he jumps onto a big lorry full of, how you say, the cut grass. Hey? The cut grass. <laughs> hey! You're not hearing very well. You are not understanding very well. Cut grass is called hay. Oh! No ho, hay. <laughs> He's saving his life. Good. Well done, Daniel. Right, Giovanni, your turn. Now the coppers are coming. <laughs> the burglar panics. Then he sees it at church, so he goes and knockers on the door. <laughs> A priest, he hears this knockering, so he comes along and opens the door. The burglar, he says, Father, I'm in the big trouble. 
So the priests say, come into the church, my son, and I give you sanctuary. Okay, says a burglar, and sanctuary much. <laughs> Genius, right? Carry on, Ranjit. Meanwhile, the man who is falling off his ladders is telling the police that he's not a poster sticker upper man, <laughs> but a secret agent. And the burglar man is being a Russian spy. Well, I must say, you've all got very vivid imaginations. <laughs> Taro? Asso. <laughs> Russian spy, no call pistol on head, and uh, change your clothes or to escape. <laughs> the plot thickens, right, Jim Miller? But the priest is be recovered and crawl to be ring church bell. <laughs> Russian spy, he see him and time shoot at him. <laughs> As priestess fall, he is pull bell of rope. Ding <laughs> dong. Very good, Ali. <clears throat> yes, please. <clears throat> the agent is thinking, hello, hello, that is very strange hearing bells when it is not church going time. So he is going into the church and finding the Russian spy up the belfry. <laughs> Your hands stuck up. You are cut, you dirty Russian rat. Oh, good. Well, Shuli, I don't suppose there's really much you can add to all that, is there? Oh, yes, I can. Very devious Russian agent, master of karate, overpowers British agent. Hi, hi, hi! <laughs> Lands outside where helicopter waiting to take him to safety, fries off the running glad. <laughs> Very good. Well, it's not exactly Alistair McLean, but well done, everybody. Excuse me.